and five-year-olds. But number five, this one. 1,400 metres, and Faistos, Mr Brassel, is your best of the day. Yep, very keen on him. As a prospect, Mato, he's returning off a spell of about four months. I think we touched the thought upon the fact he's unbeaten fresh. So uh, we're making the ink a bit off a big barrier trial too, or a jump out. Seven, six, one, three, hardest to beat. We've got the six horse reflectivity also fresh. Uh, William Thomas and uh, Bravo Tango. And Bravo Tango is your top pick. Second at the Caulfield 1400 last time out, Jesse. Yeah, well, the way he's coming along, he drops in weight on that uh, performance at uh, Caulfield. That was behind uh, Usain Bowler, who won quite, uh, won quite easily. He uh, gets to a track where he's ran, uh, ran really well. So um, I'm, uh, I'm with the Ibich Friedman runner, uh, Billy Egan. It's a great chance. I think the five you've got to throw in, East India man, is going to be in it for a very long way. The blinkers, I uh, think going again with Reef Activity, which will be up there. But East India man will be up there sitting second, I'd say. And he does drop in weight on that cram and effort defeating uh, Sartori. I'm finished third behind Kimmel Passer who won a Group 2 on uh, Saturday, Derby Day. So he wasn't beaten far from that, uh, that gallop. So it's got huge claims of five. Uh, seven faced us. I'm worried about what it's going to do from that gate. Uh, I think um, yeah, the temptation will be to try and push him to go forward, but I think it'll drift back. And first up, on a soft track, I think it's a bit of a risk at the odds. I think it should be a little bit further out in the, uh, in the betting. But the weight of money for Brazil, probably why it's coming a little bit. And uh, number one, uh, William Thomas, got a bit of class about him, whether he stays the distance and he go, goes up a lot in weight might make it a bit uh, difficult. If you wanted to throw in one for your multiples that could run into the first four, Bad Wolf at $21 might be a chance. 3571. Face Fell's best back, 310 into 230, bit of a nibble late for Al Passon, uh, 21 into 15. That's it for the second. The Altley given from behind and away. Bad Wolf goes back to the end, being preceded by Gel Darb and Fergus McGurgis. El Passam broke the gates really well, goes to the lead from Reflectivity, and on the outside pushing up is East India Man, as expected, about two lengths Secret Vega and Bravo Tango. Three further back in the field, Faceos, and then came the inside William Thomas from Yel Darb, Fergus McGurgis, and at the end of the field is Bad Wolf. So as they reach the 950, and the front Runner El Passam by about three quarters of a length to Reflectivity, two lengths East India Man, and then came Secret Vega, a length Bravo Tango, and then came William Thomas and Faistos, who spot the lead about six or seven, the favourite from Yeldab, then Bad Wolf, and at the end, Fergus McGurga. 600 from home, it's El Passam just in front of Reflectivity, Secret Vega behind those, East India Man pulls out of the slipstream, now three deep to make a challenge, William Thomas, first go at 1400, runs up behind them, back to the the fence now, and then Bravo Tango. So it's El Passam with Secret Vega, Reflectivity. Back to the inside, William Thomas, East India Man, Bravo Tango. So they're stretched right across, competitive race of the clock tower. William Thomas just in front of East India Man, Bravo Tango. William Thomas about three quarters of a length in front of East India Man, Bravo Tango still coming in face loss. Bravo Tango's lifting with East India Man, Bravo Tango okay. has just beaten either East India Man or William Thomas then face loss four. A gap reflect Activity El Paso and Secret Vega, then Yell Dart, Bad Wolf, and Fergus McGurgis at the end. Bravo Tango, Billy Egan for Mitch Friedman, seven twenty and two dollars, starting at a really good price. Good chasing run at Caulfield last start. Had to find today William Thomas and hit the front. East India Man and Bravo Tango coming at William Thomas together in what turned out to be a stirring finish. And Bravo Tango.